Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's D using R or specifically actually R Studio. Uh, Cohen's D is an effect size that can be used for an independent samples T test and to show you how this could be done with R uh, we actually need some example data and I'll be using an SPSS file so I need to read SPSS from the foreign package for that so I'm going to load that in and then actually get my data. I get quite a lot of uh, errors here but that's okay and to quickly show you the data um, what I'm actually going to calculate the effect size of is the differences in means on something that's all the way to the right the overall grades that people gave those are up here and the difference in averages there on uh, gender which was uh, male and female only and as you can see I do have a few NAs now to actually calculate this uh, my uh, bin variable is going to be the gender so I'm going to store that as bin far and the skill variable is just going to be a numeric variable and then just to make sure that we really get the numbers um, I have uh, the levels uh, in there and then actually the, the results so that's going to be like that and now I actually have all the numbers there and the uh, bin variable as well so in order to calculate Cohen's D and base uh, only then we actually need to use the aggregate function and that will actually calculate uh, in this case uh, uh, from the scale variable m using the groups from the bin variable and we want to calculate the mean now if I would only do this I can show you what happens then I actually get a small little table and uh, it shows the female and the male and from the scale variable it then actually shows the averages so I'm going to store the first one from those as the F for female uh, average and M for uh, male ver uh, average so control enter control enter we also need the standard deviation so the same thing but then uh, the fun is going to be the standard deviation uh, F for female and M for male and we also actually need to count so the number in each group and that can be done using length so control enter control enter then actually uh, to calculate the Cohen's D we need the sum of squares which is actually the square of the standard deviation and then multiplied by the count minus one so we can do that here and here and as you can see each time over here are the results and then finally Cohen's D is actually the difference between the two means and then the square root out of the sum of the two sum of squares and then actually divided that over the uh, total count minus two and then the square root out of that entire result so I'm going to call that D and finally I actually get D as minus 0 0.28 something now there's also packages that can do that for example the F size package uh, I've already installed it so I'm not going to run this line but I am going to run this one and uh, to actually load it uh, I get a small warning but that's okay and then Cohen's D uh, my scale variable by the bin variable and hopefully that actually gives the same result and as you can see indeed the minus 0 0.282 is exactly the same as the one up here um, as for interpretation, Cohen's D actually had a, a small uh, a table himself for rules of thumb. Uh, I think I have that on my website. If you go to peterstatistics.com, um, you should be able to actually find it under two variables and then binary versus scale and then effect size. And here is the little table from Cohen's D. Uh, these are rules of thumb, so. Um, yeah they might not be uh, completely accurate in your field but okay so in this case it would be considered small the 0 0.28 okay that was it I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful if so please subscribe because that really helps me out thank you for watching